Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. I'm Daphna Egbo. I'm a current junior at Barnard College where I major in education studies and minor in French and Francophone studies. And this semester I'll be studying abroad in Berlin at IS Abroad Berlin on the Metropolitan Urban Studies track and I'm so excited to go. I leave in just one week so I thought for my first post it would be kind of fun to do a vlog and take you through a day in my life if you will during my last week here at home and kind of just show you some of the ways that I've been getting ready and feeling prepared to leave so soon. Okay, so as you can tell by the lighting, it is way later in the day in the afternoon and I'm finally ready to get started with packing. Um, I'm bringing two checked bags, like suitcases, and then a carry-on and personal item. So quite a lot of packing to get done in the next week. Um, so I'm getting started today and I'm gonna cut this clip now and kind of show you my packing layout so far. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the most obvious huge pile here and that's all my sweaters and then some light jackets and stuff. Um, I probably already mentioned I'm super scared of the cold, so I'm packing lots of warm weather clothing, including this one that I love that my mom knit me a few years ago. Um, and then over here we have scarves, hats, um, just all that type of stuff. This like hairspray bottle as well. And then on the other side, I started bringing out some pants. I don't really know how much will fit in here, but I have like workout pants, like shorts, one pair of jeans um and then over here is the big empty suitcase and then some shoes Oop, right there and bags so i'm gonna get started on rolling these up listen to some music and soon this will be filled up okay so with lots of help from my kombucha here i have Ta-da! finally kind of finished packing this first suitcase um, I still have to fit in all of my shoes that are right next to me, and I just fold up some socks. Um, I'm an avid, like, low sock wearer, but I have finally been convinced that Berlin is going to be far too cold, and I don't want my ankles to be freezing. So I have my socks here, and I feel like socks are easy to just stuff in last, but they're also way heavier than you think, like, all of them combined. So I'm just going to stuff in the socks, put the shoes in and leave it open in case I find any last minute things. It's now around 8.30 p.m. and I personally tend to study better and learn better at night, I feel like. Um, so I'm just getting started and seated to do some German practice for the day. Um, and every day looks a little bit different. Sometimes I do use the Rosetta Stone modules. Um, they're way more structured and really take you through each step. And then other days I'll do something like this, which is watch easy German videos on YouTube. Here's the channel, um, learn German from the streets, and it's super fun. They basically just go around Germany, usually Berlin, and ask strangers on the street random questions based on the theme. So this one is, what's the first thing you do in the morning? Um, I just watched one about what Germans think is the hardest thing to learn in German. Um, so we can just watch a bit of the video together. Zu arbeiten, weil im Moment arbeite ich zu Hause wegen Corona ähm, für komplettes Homeoffice. Ich gehe tatsächlich direkt, also ich stehe auf, gehe direkt unter die Dusche ähm, und dann äh, lege ich mich tatsächlich noch mal ins Bett. Interessant. <lacht> und gucke auf meinem Handy rum. Gute Frage, ist eigentlich unterschiedlich. Also manchmal gehe ich erst aufs Klo, manchmal gehe ich duschen, manchmal esse ich was. Manchmal machen wir direkt einen Kaffee und manchmal mache ich sogar direkt äh, so ein bisschen Sport zum Wachwerden. Oh, wie geht das? Erzähl mal. Für fünf oder sechs Minuten, da suche ich mir irgend so ein Workout auf YouTube raus <lacht> und mache das dann eben direkt, einfach nur so ein bisschen in den Tag zu starten. Toll, aber nur mit deinem Körper, ohne irgendwelche Laufbänder oder... Genau, eigentlich hauptsächlich mit Eigengewicht. Ja. Mit Eigengewicht. Und was ist dann die Morgensroutine? Die Morgenroutine? Okay, so hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of the type of videos that Easy German makes. Um, and they make a lot of different languages as well. And I also have my notebook out here with me. It's just, just like grid, graph paper notebook, and my herbal tea. And I basically just jot down any words that are coming up a lot. So for this video, they were talking about making coffee, brushing teeth, and do like and you from what i understood 
um, breakfast, the day, things like that. And then here is just writing down like bread and bread roll that I learned the other day. So this is just one way that I'm getting more familiar with the language, not really putting pressure on myself to learn everything, but just a quick, nice little study setup for the evening. It's a little bit later and I watched a couple of the Easy German videos and sometimes it's nice to just be off my screen, especially later into the evening. So right now I'm crocheting a scarf that's this like multi-colored scarf um, for the cold days in Berlin while I listen to a podcast on my iPad. Um, and this podcast is called Speaking of Berlin and it's by Babbel and um, right now I'm like looking at the transcript alongside it um, and it's easy to just highlight words I don't know which is most of the words right now and make them make a note of them in my notebook um, but it's also nice to just turn the screen off listen to a podcast um, and there are quite a few German learning podcasts that I've been liking so I'll put those here on the screen as well um, just so you have different types of podcasts if you're interested in learning the language that way um, so I'll play you some of it. And this one's basically about Suzanne, who grew up in East Berlin. Und bis heute komme ich gerne hierher. Ein ganz besonderer Ort für mich ist der Wolkenhain in Marzahn. So I hope that was helpful in any way to see how I'm learning German or see my packing frenzy. Um, and to close out, I kind of just want to talk about how I'm feeling a week out from flying to Berlin. Uh, it's super, super exciting. I can't wait to make new friends, learn the language, be in a whole new city and environment, but also really nerve wracking in terms of getting everything ready in time to be able to go and um, just, yeah, not knowing really what to expect from the daily life there, making a new routine. Um, so during these big transitions in life, I really like to slow down while I can and not be super, super high stress um, and do things like crochet, read, listen to music while I make coffee, take walks in nature, um, any of those things that I know really calm me down and make me feel connected and grounded, um, talk to my friends and family. Um, so if you have just those sorts of habits also that you know uh, make you feel peaceful, um, it's really helpful to just keep those in mind, especially when I arrive in Berlin. I'm hoping to carry those same habits over just so I feel a sense of normalcy and continuity and all those helpful grounding things. Um, and just to close out, I wanted to share why I wanted to become a correspondent this semester um, when I was applying to study abroad in high school, and again, this past year to come to Berlin, it was super helpful for me to see current students sharing their experiences and their stories and journeys. Um, and I really wanted to do that as well for any prospective students who are wondering what it's like to be Black abroad or be money conscious abroad or any number of things um, that I hope I can share with you this semester. So please drop a comment down below. I feel like such an official YouTuber saying that. But seriously, let me know what you'd be interested in seeing, um, any questions you have, and I hope that my posts will in some way um, help you kind of get a sense of what it's like to be a student at IES Berlin. And with that, I will say choose for the night, which I think is bye or see you later. Um, so anyway, choose and until next time.